Perfect. So we have a wonderful topic for you today around informational interviewing and networking. Um, so thank you so much for joining. Uh, for a quick icebreaker, go ahead and type in the chat if you have any pets. Um, I love pets and I've owned a dog and a, and a bird before and I'm hoping to get a cat soon. But go ahead and put in the chat if you have any animals, um, maybe their name, maybe what type of breed they are. But it's a great way for you to get to know your peers. And if you don't have a pet, you can certainly put if you want a pet um, and it doesn't have to be one of the three listed here. Oh, golden doodle. And of course, if you have pictures too, feel free to send those as well. <laughs> Brooke, I didn't know you had a rabbit. but that's really cool. <laughs> was it, it was a COVID edition. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, cat, nice. That's awesome. Well, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, today on the agenda, we're going to talk a little bit about networking. Why do you want to network? How do you go about this process? Um, we're going to talk about how to stand out um, when you're networking, and then we'll do an activity at the end that will be pretty short and sweet, and then we'll talk about next steps. And as usual, we always have a slide just so you can know who we are. We have a couple people from our team on today, Trinity, Brooke, and Zeke. Um, we're all here to help you, as well as Jenny and Kathleen. And so for those of you that attended last week's session on resumes, um, we had a pre-assignment for you, which was to make a list of three companies you want to work at, three locations that you want to be in, and then three job titles you want to have. And so if you haven't done that, go ahead and do this really quickly. You can open up your notes app or put a Word document, but we're going to use this information for our pre uh, activity. So go ahead and do that right now, but start thinking about some of those companies and, and locations you want to be at. And so let's talk a little bit about why you want to start networking. First, it's to build and maintain a professional relationship um, within one's field. The working world is pretty small once you get out there or like for those of you that have worked before. And so as you start connecting with more people, you'll start to notice more opportunities, more conversations within, let's say, finance or marketing. And so it's a great way to uh, establish yourself in your industry. It's also a really consistent way to get interviews through references and referrals. And oftentimes, a lot of jobs uh, or companies won't post jobs on, um, you know, LinkedIn or Glassdoor. Uh, it's actually through their network. So people that are, you know, tapped in will often hear about those job opportunities first. So we want to make sure that you're ahead of the game. And then around 45% of Owen students say that networking was their primary source for their postgrad job. And this is huge. Um, and it's a big reason why a lot of our students get opportunities after graduation. And so how do you network? Um, I have a three-step process for this. First, you want to start finding and identifying people, um, high-quality people. And this doesn't mean just people at like really, you know, big prestigious firms, but more so people that you have a really strong connection with or you have a you know great conversation with. Then you want to start connecting with them. So having a virtual call with them, an in-person meeting, maybe a coffee chat, and really start to build that relationship. And then of course asking them. So whether that's a referral whether that's just a resume review or potentially connecting with other people, you want to make sure that you get something out of the networking call. And so first you want to start finding people and for anyone that hasn't networked before, this can be a little bit tough, but I recommend um, these steps. The first one is just connect with your classmates and peers. Um, a lot of them are here in the room today, you know, connect on LinkedIn because you never know if someone knows someone else and they might be able to help you get to where you are. And it's pretty low stakes just because everyone's in the same boat. Um, then you want to start looking at recent graduates. School is probably, you know, right out in their minds, especially with some of our one-year programs. So they will definitely be excited to talk to you. And I guarantee you more likely they want to help out because they were in your shoes. And then you could also look at alumni and professionals multiple years out. They're more likely to be in a higher uh, position. So they'll be able to help you out a bit more. But of course, um, you know, you want to take that meeting seriously because otherwise you don't want to leave a bad impression. Uh, they will remember that most likely. So um, these are some uh, ways you can start finding people to connect with. 
And so I have on the screen eight different things, and I would love if anyone could tell me what all these eight different things have in common. Um, go ahead and put in the chat, or you can unmute, but um, let's see if anyone can get the right answer. So what do all these things have in common? I might have to start calling people out. Um, let's see. Food has been here. Andrea, are you there? No. <laughs> All right, let me go ahead and call on Nathan. Can you go off mute for a second? Yeah, I'm here. Can you guess what these eight things have in common? Uh, I guess people. They all have a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, they do all have, that's a great answer. They have a lot of people. I think the answer that I was looking for is that these are actually some of the most common things that people connect with. Uh, so if you are from the same hometown as someone that you wanna network with, that's a great conversation starter and a great way to personalize that outreach message. Same thing with the school, same thing with the different activities. Um, because a lot of these topics people enjoy talking about and it's often pretty memorable. And if you're thinking about reaching out to people who get a hundred messages a day, this is one way to stand out if you find that common factor. And so once you find the individual, you wanna start having those conversations and connecting with them. So if I'm on LinkedIn and I find, you know, Bennett who works at BCG, you know, I wanna be a consultant, I might go ahead and connect and add a little note and you can see right there some of the uh, some of the messaging that I'm doing, which is, you know, I'm a current Owen student. I came across your profile. Would love to chat for 30 minutes. This is the bare minimum that I would recommend um, because I didn't add any personalization. And if again, if he's getting more than uh, 10 messages, you know, a week, he's probably not going to really remember this message. So what I want to start doing is I want to start personalizing it. So if we were both in the same club if we're from the same state, or let's say he had an interest um, outside of work, I might use that as a conversation starter. All right. And of course, if you have any questions throughout any of this, feel free to put in the chat or go ahead and unmute. And so once you are actually, let's say Ben accepted my 30 minute request and we have a, a Zoom call scheduled, I want to make sure I make the most of it um, by asking really good conversational questions. Um, you know, we'll talk a little bit about what questions you guys all like to ask, but make sure that you're listening and um, to what they're saying so that it feels less like an interview, question, answer, question, answer. It's more of that conversation. Um, in order to do this, you want to research their profile ahead of time. Um, you know, what, what other opportunities have they been a part of? Um, you know, what school did they go to? How was their experience like there? And then something that I like to do is I like to look up current events uh, about their company or industry. So I can ask them during the call, how has this affected your work? Maybe any trends you're noticing. It's a really great way to stand out that way. And then of course, be very curious. I think some of the best conversations I've had was just them mentioning a project and then me just asking more about it. So always be curious. Um, and I think it will go pretty well for you. So I wanna take the time to think a little bit about what questions you all like to ask on a networking call. Um, for those of you that have been networking, uh, what questions have gotten you a lot of success? Feel free to type it in the chat or go off mute. Great question, a great question, Trinity. Um, what does your day to day look like is a fantastic starter question, especially after you ask them about their career journey. It's a great way to just know what a consultant or a marketer or a data analyst does. But any other questions? How about the working atmosphere in the office? Amazing question. Um, this kind of relates more to culture which is something that's really big to know, you know, is the company a good fit for you? So I really like that question, uh, Lily. 
Let's get one more. Is there anyone else that has a question they like to ask? Taylor, how was your recruiting process? Any piece of advice you would give back yourself now looking back on your experience? Yeah, fantastic. I mean, some of uh, you all will be applying to um, companies with very different processes, with case interviews, technical interviews. And so this is a great way to get some of that insider advice on how to prep for those interviews or recruiting processes. Awesome, Zeke. Motivation, love that. Um, Yeah, I feel like I always get different answers for, for motivation questions. <laughs> awesome. And so once you have that great conversation and you build rapport, this is where you want to start asking people um, for something explicit. I like to be very direct about it just because, um, you know, if there isn't a job or an internship that I'm looking for, I want them to know what I need. So I will say at the end, you know, thank you so much. Could you look over my resume for me because I'm applying to this position? Or can you refer to me for this position at your organization? Um, can you connect me with other people on your team? Or can you give me advice? I think these are really important things to ask. And they pretty much know that they're gonna, you're going to ask for something. And I know it can feel transactional, but they have been in your shoes. Most likely someone helped them. So it's a great way to not only um, connect with them, but also get something out of it. And if they are unable to help, they'll let you know. Um, when I was applying to my previous jobs at HubSpot, um, I actually connected with someone, you know, we had a great conversation, but at the end I asked them for a referral and they actually told me that I would love to, but you know, you don't have enough experience in X, Y, Z yet. And I would be happy to refer you maybe three months down the line if you can build this up. And I really appreciated it. I, I think at the time I was a little bit frustrated. I was like, oh man, I just wanted to refer me. But uh, it was helpful because after three months, I did some of the work, did some of the experience, and then they did refer me and I got an interview. So again, a no doesn't always mean no now. It just means that they might want something more from you. Um, so definitely make sure you ask and try. The worst they can say is no. Okay. Awesome. And then I did want to add a little bit um, for international students, just because networking is a little bit different, I would say, in other countries compared to the US. Um, it's honestly not as common. I'm originally from Korea and in Asian countries, I would say networking is pretty uncommon just because, you know, there's a little bit of a hierarchy of who you can reach out to. Um, but just know that here in America, it is okay to reach out to anybody, really. Um, I've reached out to vice presidents, you know, CEOs. Um, they might not connect with you just because they're pretty busy and they go through, like, assistance. But, um, you know, it, it doesn't hurt to try and nobody will, you know, reprimand you for trying. I also do want to add, um, having a good conversation is more important, in my opinion, than demonstrating how skilled you are. This is because an, uh, a networking call is not an actual interview. So I wouldn't go into it, you know, wanting to kind of go through your resume, but more so learning more about them in the organization. Okay. And then um, I'm going to pass over to Trinity to uh, talk a little bit about, you know, different international processes um, that students go through. Yeah, I one thing I want to mention for international students is that it's worth your time to network with multiple people in the organization and to ask all of them like the same set of logistical questions, including like, does your company sponsor? Um, because you might get slightly different answers from different people. So kind of use your resources, figure out what everybody is saying, and then try to put the pieces together and figure out kind of what the real story is there. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. And so we are heading into our activity and I have a little bit of a background set up for this. Um, so you are all working for NASA and your mission is to go to planet LinkedIn and restore their network systems, which have been down. In order to do this, you have to find three to five engineers um, that will help you restore the network. And so that was just a fun little background for the actual activity. What I want you to do is take your list um, that you have for the pre-assignment, the three jobs, locations, and companies, and go to Owen's LinkedIn page and click on the alumni tab. I'll also go on LinkedIn um, after this, but in that alumni search bar, type in some of those words that were on your pre-assignment, and then find three to five alumni that you want to connect with. Try to find people that you have some commonality with, whether that's maybe an industry, maybe they've traveled somewhere, um, and then write that outreach message. It's about 300 characters for LinkedIn. 
And then once you're done writing the message, go ahead and put it in the chat. And so if anyone uh, wants any help with this, definitely let me know. I'm going to go ahead and give you all a couple minutes to do this. Um, and then I'll also be sharing my screen on LinkedIn to show you where that alumni tab is. But before we get started, does anyone have any questions? All right, if there's no questions, I'll go ahead and switch my share screen. And I'll head over to LinkedIn. And so feel free to be on LinkedIn. Um, I know some, some of you are just on one screen. Uh, feel free to minimize. But on the LinkedIn screen, I'm going to head over into Vanderbilt Owens um, company page. And you can do this by typing in Vanderbilt University, Owen Graduate School of Management. And then if I scroll down, I'm going to see this alumni tab right here. And so I'm going to click on that. And in this search bar is you want to type in some of those keywords. So I might type in a company, I might type in um, a job title. So if I go ahead and just type in consulting, I can go ahead and scroll down and I can start finding people that are part of the Owen network that work in consulting. So I'm gonna have a go ahead and scroll down and maybe I wanna go ahead and look at Benjamin's profile. And it looks like he is in Tennessee. And if I keep scrolling down, it looks like he has some experiences with Tesla, you know, in abroad. So in my outreach message, I might reference, hey, I saw that you were, uh, you know, abroad during your work at Tesla. I'd love to talk to you about Germany because I've also studied abroad there. So here are some ways to personalize it, but I might go ahead and potentially connect with Benjamin. Okay. And so go ahead and find three to five. And then once you're done, um, go ahead and just put it in the chat for me, your outreach message. And we'll go ahead and reconvene at about 923.
All right, so I just wanted to check in. How's everyone doing? Have they been able to find um, their contacts, but also start that outreach messaging? Let me know if you need some more time, um, but if you haven't already, go ahead and start writing that outreach message. We'll go ahead and give one more minute, but go ahead and put it in the chat once you're done on um, the message that you plan to send out to some of these alumni. Oh, awesome, Lily. No, sorry that you, you weren't able to open LinkedIn before, but that is a great message, um, especially the part about, you know, we were both in the same X team at Owen. Hopefully that, you know, inspires you to get more involved when you're here, but that is definitely memorable. And so great way to personalize that message. I'll also get one more confirmation. Um, Taylor, uh, how is your message coming along? Do you need more time or? Um, yes, I'm actually typing it out right oh, now. Oh, okay, sorry. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> You're so good. You're so good. I can read it verbally if that's better. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Um, just, Hi, so nice to connect with you. My name is Taylor Ward, Ward and I'm an incoming graduate student with Owen. I wanted to reach out um, to you to further get to know you and your experience so far with Deloitte. Um, happy to connect. Gotcha. And again, feel free to add in a little bit of that personalization. So again, you're not going to find this with everybody, but even if it's just like, you know, I, I saw that you traveled here and there, or I saw this company, um, posted something like try to add something. Otherwise they're going to read kind of the similar message across the board. Um, but yeah, other than that, your message is perfect. Great job. Awesome. So you can go ahead and put in the chat. We're going to move on, but um, yeah, feel free to put in the chat, even though we're moving on to the next couple of slides. And so just a summary of today's workshop. I know it was a little bit quicker than the other ones, um, 
but really networking is going to be key to your success um, during your program at Owen and certainly after. Um, this is because everyone is networking constantly, trying to meet new people, trying to look at other opportunities. So I would say this is going to be not, this is not the only time you'll be networking during your program. You'll have multiple chances. Um, as I mentioned before, is that you want to start personalizing the process as much as possible because you want to stand out. It's really easy, especially in certain fields like finance, to just be the same, you know, read the same profiles over and over. So having some way to um, be distinct is going to be really important. And then something that is referring back to one of the earlier sessions on skill gap analysis is to think about your competition. If your competition is networking constantly and they're getting referrals and advice, what information do you need to close that gap? And oftentimes it will be that ask of, you know, what can I do or can you refer me? So think about that a little bit. You know, um, you are going to be a fantastic business candidate, but you want to make sure that you stay ahead of the game and stay ahead of the competition. And so that wraps up, uh, uh, wraps up our presentation for today. Oh, sorry. Um, the next workshop is going to be on employer target outreach. So a similar topic um, on today. Oh, sorry. I think my screen just froze. Oops, sorry. Um, it's going to be on July 13th. So not next Thursday, but the Thursday after that. And so I highly recommend um, going to that one just because it kind of builds on what we discussed today, but more specifically on the employer side of things. And your pre-assignment for that session will be, now that you've found some alumni and crafted your message, go ahead and send it out to that alumni. Um, in the connect button on LinkedIn, you'll be able to add a note. And so schedule a meeting and then reflect on how that call went. So hopefully you'll have this opportunity. I know it's the holiday, but um, you have about two weeks to do this. so. Um, definitely go ahead and have a great conversation or at least schedule that meeting so that you can think about what you want to ask. All right. We'll go ahead and stay behind for anyone that has any questions. Um, but thank you so much for joining us today. I know for some of you it's a little early, but we really appreciate you coming out today. And so if anyone has any questions, Brooke, uh, Zeke, and Trinity and I will be behind um, to answer those. Young, how do you want to stop mm -hmm. recording? Yes. Thank you for reminding me.